What's going on YouTube? Today we're doing Epoch. Epoch is a challenge recently released in Try Hack Me. So the description says, be honest, you have always wanted an online tool that could help you convert Unix dates and timestamps. Convert Unix dates and timestamps. Now, if you go, if you scroll down, you see like more detailed description. Be honest, you've always wanted an online tool that could help you convert Unix dates and timestamps. We have already read that. It doesn't need to be online. So, so the idea is that guys, there is, this is the challenge here. As you can see, it's kind of running a command line tool, but accessible from the web. So whatever you type here, it gets executed using a command line tool. Now, the purpose of this room is to get you familiar with the concept of command injection, which is an OWASP top 10 vulnerability on the OWASP top 10. So what we're going to do here, we're going to try and understand how this works. So first thing first, Epoch. So Epoch is um, the conversion of time and date into a formula like uh, hours minutes and no days hours and minutes so if you google this epoch converter so in computing epoch is a date and time from which a computer measures system time so it's kind of like standard right from which the system the computer can uh, derive or set the date the time and dates so here In Epoch TTC Converter, we're going to uh, put down any numbers like dates and it's going to convert the date into UTC uh, time and date. For example, if we type um, 1505 2022. So, how, it's, how it converts June 24, Wednesday. 050702 UTC 1970. That's the con uh, the conversion of this epoch into UTC. Now, the idea is that there is an underlying tool or a command line tool that's executing our queries here. That's the problem. If the queries here pass into the command line tool without any filtering, it allows for the possibility of command injection. That's what we're going to do. So to exploit command injection, what we're going to do, we're going to append, okay, or follow up this input with another unexpected input. For example, how can we do this? We need to we need to make the underlying command line tool execute two commands at the same time. The first command is handling the input, the expected input, which will convert it from epoch to UTC, and the other input will execute our command. So, to do that, we have two options. We can execute commands or two commands simultaneously in Linux using two ways. The first one is to use semicolon. This semicolon, if we put ID here, it's going to execute both. As you can see, the conversion comes first, and then the next command is the ID of the user. Or we can put double ampersand. This executes two commands simultaneously at the same time. Now, how about we convert this into something, mean something meaningful? Like what? Like reverse shell. So if I open the command prompt, the attacker machine, and before everything else, so nc.lvp, 4545. Isn't that the final objective of everything we do? We get the reverse shell. And here we put, we can take bash shell. Just have to modify the port and IP parameters. So here it goes 10, 10. It was the, but let me find out. If config, so the IP is 10, 10, 39, 
38. Mm -hmm. And then we have slash and we execute. And immediately, as you can see, we received the shell here. So we got now an access to the machine ID. As you can see, we are the challenge user, user challenge. So normally, the flags. Normally, the flags are, are located under the user home directory, but I'm not gonna joke with, I'm not gonna joke you guys. It's, uh, it's not under the user directory, a home directory. Sorry, you can find it by printing the environment variables. These are the environment variables, and it's pretty actually uh, unique to find the flag in the environment variables. Most of the time, we extract the user flag from the user home directory. So that's your flag, guys. I hope you liked this video and I will see you later.